Hello. For next night 23 in this uh, series where I'm recording a coding bot solution every night, the schools are closed, and we are looking at the make pi problem from a raise one in Java. Now, if you watched the Python video, you heard me talk about the difference between arrays and lists. And I talked about how, interestingly, in this, this resource, which is a phenomenal resource, um, in the Python section, in the problems, they, they put arrays in. And I think that's because when they created it, they just copied the solutions into the Python. And this is a really great opportunity because this is a pretty straightforward problem to really highlight that point that arrays and lists are different. Now, is that difference super important at this point? No, but it is good to highlight and understand this. So an array is a static data structure, meaning that this means that the size must be set in advance of use. So once you set the size of that array, that's it. So in this case, you know, this problem wants to return an int array length 3 containing the first three digits of pi, we have to create the array and we have to set the size to 3. Whereas a list is a dynamic data structure. Um, and that means the size can change as new elements are added. So, again, in terms of coding bat for what we're trying to learn, this idea of algorithm development and how functions work, not a huge issue. But this is a good opportunity, this problem, to highlight this. Because if you watch the Python solution, one of the way I did, and I'll just kind of simulate the Python solution here, was I started off with this. I made a list, and then I said list.append1, list.append, oh, sorry, it starts with three. What am I saying? List.append1, and list.append four, and then I returned list. Now, this would work in Python perfectly fine. And I'm not saying that because of the, the, the syntax. I'm saying that because notice here in this line, the list is empty, and then I add something. So at this point now, after this line, the list has a length of, list has a length of, of one. Here, this line, list has a length, list length two, list length, Three. So notice, as I append new elements on, the list size changes. You can't do that in Java. Java, when you're using an array, or sorry, more appropriately, is you can't do that with arrays. So what we have to do is we have to actually create a new array. And so to do that, we're going to say, state the type, int, we're going to call this ARR. And I can do this one of two ways. One way is I can predefine the elements in the array right when I construct it. To do that, I just simply do this, 3, 1, 4, and I close the brace. So essentially now I create this new array, 3, 1, 4, and I return ARR. No problem. This is one way to do this. Let's comment this out. The second way to do it is similar to the second way in the Python solution, is I create the array, but I can't just make it empty. I have to know in advance that this is going to hold three elements. So I'm going to say new... And, and I'm going to give it three elements. This says make an array of length three. So now what I do is I can add those individual, I can set the individual elements. So I can say ARR at zero. So element one has an index of zero is three. ARR at one, one. ARR at two is four. Remembering length of three, the index is there zero, one, two. And then I simply return ARR and I hit go. And there it is. So pretty straightforward problem. From a Java perspective, I think the takeaway is understanding that you can predefine an array. You know, you can put the values in at the point of initialization, or you can create it, set the length, and then add elements in. The bigger idea, and to be aware of now, is that lists and array are actually different. It's this idea of static data structures and, di and dynamic data structures. And if you're ever designing a larger project, you always want to ask yourself, do I want a data structure that can change size? Or can I set the size in advance? And thinking about that really helps when choosing the right data structure. Have a great night. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.